Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So a family is a Japanese film out of Netflix that deals with the whole Yakuza life, specifically one person's journey from the beginning to the end. And so this is the type of film that I've seen many times coming out of Japan and I'm very familiar with how these films play out. However, a family does things differently and I feel that's probably the main strength of this film. So getting into the things that I really did enjoy about this is the fact that it is different. So if you have watched a lot of Yakuza films out of Japan, you can kind of predict what's going on. There's normally going to be a war, a turf battle between opposing Yakuza gangs. Uh, there's going to be a main uh, person and they're going to get into a lot of violent fights. And so there's a lot of territorial wars. And so that's really, in general, the type of Yakuza film that at least I've seen coming out of Japan. And even though I enjoyed them, they really don't dig deeper into what it really is to be a Yakuza. Whereas a family, it takes a different approach. And even though there are some of those Yakuza film elements in there, they don't really last throughout the whole film. And basically, it's not all about the violence and action. It's more about the human part of being a Yakuza. And it takes a more realistic approach, which I really did appreciate. And even though I didn't see that for the first half of the film, as the film was going on, I didn't realize that it's definitely not a normal Yakuza film. And so that's probably the best thing about the movie overall. And it really focuses on this main character, Kenji, or is known as Lil Ken, uh, played by Go Ayano. And I think overall, uh, the way in which the story was told from that perspective did a good job in bringing you into this story. And so the second thing that I really did enjoy was just the overall acting uh, from the main character and the rest of all the actors and actresses who portrayed their roles. I think they did a really good job in bringing in a more realistic element. And you could really, I would say, understand uh, what they're going through because even though they are in this whole Yakuza world, they are people. And a lot of these things that these characters are going through, uh, they are things that most people can understand and have gone through themselves. And so I think the acting in this, I think it's solid overall. And I was emotionally invested in these characters as well. Which gets me to the final thing that I really enjoyed about this film is the overall emotion and heart in it. So from the beginning and then till the end, you really grow to appreciate these characters. You know, whether it's something that is, I would say, very heartbreaking because there are a lot of those moments to moments of joy, you know, to moments of freedom. There's all those elements. And then there's also the elements of the unknown, the violence, all those things. And the way that it makes these characters feel, I felt a lot of that. Everything that goes together with the story and characters and the emotion, I think that's really what captures you overall. And that's one of the things that I appreciated so much in the way in the film and uses that to really keep you deeply invested in the story and characters throughout the entire runtime of this movie. If you love reading books, then check out Audible, which has the largest selection of audiobooks anywhere on the internet. Sign up today and get a 30-day free trial. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Now getting to the negative of this film, even though this didn't bother me, I think for a lot of people who are used to watching these Yakuza gang related type films, they're probably going to be expecting more action and a faster pace. And if you're looking for that, well you're not going to get it here because this is a very slow burn movie. And even though there is some action, that is definitely not the main focus of this movie. And this is more of a character study of a person living in this Yakuza gang world. And I really feel that if you are patient enough to watch this through and really get invested in the story and the characters, then you really get a lot more out of it than your standard Yakuza gang films. And so those are my thoughts on A Family. I feel this is a really good film overall. It takes something that's familiar. It takes a more different and realistic approach that I really did appreciate in the end. So if you actually had any thoughts on this film or any other films that you've enjoyed in this genre, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my international film reviews, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, 
then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group.